I can't relate to Kobe Bryant because I never watched him. I'm not a basketball fan. I'm not a sports fan. And so I, I didn't relate to this at all on Monday. Um, and the closest thing I could come to it is my weird uh, response to Don Imus. Don Imus was a guy that I respected because I listened to him. Long before I knew Don, I listened to him. And he was a, he was a giant. And he was, he was, he was an innovator. The thing I've learned about Kobe Bryant is his relentless dedication to excellence. He wasn't trying to play a good basketball game. He was trying to play a perfect game. And in today's world, you don't see that. In today's world, you, you see somebody in sports, from my perspective, you're watching from afar, and you don't really know the... And all you know is, this guy was accused of rape in 2003. But you don't know how he really appeared to completely turn his life around. You don't see his devotion to his family and his daughters. I wanted to play that clip today because I thought it was really important. I'm glad I said all the things I did to Don Imus. I'm glad I said the things I did to my dad. I've been thinking about my Aunt Joanne every day for, I don't know, months, months. And I feel guilty because I haven't called her. And every time I call her, it's like a holiday or something like that. And I literally have been thinking about her every day. And there's that stupid thing, I'll call her tomorrow. And it's getting worse and worse and worse. And I hate it. And I know that it's wrong. And I've, I've, I've lived this before. And I don't know why. But I just, I got a call because I'll live the rest of my life. Should she die, God forbid. And I don't know why we do this. And I don't know why we don't recognize. I guess it's because they're just always there. Yesterday, there was a bright spot in the Twitter world. Can you even say that? Less hellish than usual. But the number one trend last night was hashtag girl dad. And in a world where everyone has said, oh, guys don't matter. Guys don't matter. Men don't matter. Women don't need men. Girl power, girl power, girl power. Yeah, in this environment, I kind of assumed girl dad was just like, girls can be dads too. That's kind of what I, that's <laughs> yeah. where I thought they were going to go with it. Right? Mm -hmm. It wasn't. And it was inspired by Kobe and his daughter and how much he loved his daughter. You know, he was asked recently in an interview, because she was a basketball player, how many times do you go out and practice a week? And he looked at the interviewer kind of like he was from an, another planet, and he laughed, and he said, every day, seven days a week, we're out every night. We practice every night. And when I heard that, I thought, what do I do every night with my kids? I mean, I consider myself a pretty good dad. I made, I made mistakes the first time around, big mistakes. But I've done 
really hard work to try to turn that around. And I've done it with my younger kids. I love, I love cooking with my daughter Hannah or doing something in art with my daughter Hannah. She is a, she's a brilliant mind. She's, she knows how to write. She knows how to edit. She knows how to um, do design. She really is an amazing cook. And she is also somebody who does her own homework and researches things and then knows what she believes and why she believes it. And I love that. I love just hanging out with her and I don't do it enough. I love just hanging out with my daughter Mary and I don't do it enough. My daughter Mary is one of the spiritual giants in my life. I don't know anybody else who is like this. She has such clarity on things. And sometimes it's hard to get to because she had strokes, and so she has a hard time with language. And so it's, it's for a dad, especially now, you have four kids. I have four kids. I don't know how to be a good dad and give everyone the time they need plus do all of the work. I don't know how to do it. But it takes, there's no such thing as quality time. It's just time. My daughter Cheyenne, oh my gosh, she's funny. She's, she's Lucille Ball. She's just this funny, funny girl and just full of joy. She wants to be an actress. I'm doing everything I can to say no. Um, every night I read her stories about uh, Weinstein. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but... And there's something different about being a dad of a girl. There is a, I don't know, it's a, it's just a different bond. And I see Kobe, and I see all that he did with his kids, and I see how he, he left the court and just he didn't center his life on business he didn't center his life he had the luxury of not having to do that but how many of us are lost in other things or we say we're going to do it tomorrow Or we're just too tired. Life is so precious. And the one thing that maybe somebody like me who's, who didn't grow up looking at sports figures, that you can take from Kobe Bryant is relentless relentless pursuit of excellence. 